Hi guys, today I have filmed a video for you that is so special to me. It is a video featuring all black owned brands, collabs, and businesses. Everything that you see right now on the camera or in the camera is highlighting those things. And I just am so overjoyed that I'm finally able to get all the products that I needed to make this work out. And I'm not talking about, oh, I'm using a black owned concealer but not a brush. No, honey, all of it is black owned. So everything here is either black owned businesses, like I said, collaborations, like I said, and or businesses. So if you wanna see how I get ready from start to finish, a regular morning routine from getting up to washing my face to getting my hair sorted and then getting a nice little beat going, stay tuned and keep watching guys. So first things first is this hoodie. This hoodie is actually a collaboration in partnership with Ursa Daily Ward, who I believe is a poet. I looked her up a little bit and she is a black woman. So in this collaboration with Ursa Daily War, H&M did some lounge pants. They did some hoodies, some sweatshirts, and some tank tops. And I grabbed this hoodie. I love the color of it. It's pretty basic. The only thing that I would change about it is that it doesn't have the typical pouch pockets that you get from your just regular hoodie. But I mean, to support a black woman and to support a brand collaborating with a black woman, if you wanna see more of this in the future, the best thing to do, I feel, is to purchase these items and support these collaborations so that in the future, these brands do know that we are supporting this movement and we are going to contribute because let's be honest, money makes the world go around and if they see the money, then they'll use the faces. As of lately, I have really been on my Issa Rae and when asked why I'm purchasing something, I'm gonna say I'm purchasing from anybody black. It just, period. Just like that. Let's jump into the skincare, and you already know what this is. It's gonna be Fenty Beauty because I mean, she's not my girl, girl, like to her, but to me, she's my girl. So I'm gonna be starting off with skincare, and then we'll just walk you through a whole kind of get ready with me using all black owned brands, collabs, and businesses. So this Fenty Beauty cleanser is what I'll be using today. And it is a really nice cleanser. Um, simple, suds up nicely. I just need something that's just gonna cleanse my skin. I don't need anything that's really too, um, doing too much. So after cleansing my skin, I will be using the Fenty Beauty Fat Water. And this is said to be a pore refining toner serum that you should use day and night. So for my serum, I just put a little bit in my hand and just kind of rub it together and just kind of get it all over the skin. And then I make sure to get kind of like right in the hairline. On to our next product, I will be using a sunscreen and this is the Fenty Beauty Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum 30. Uh, sorry, an SPF 30. And I just put it on my finger and then I dot it. What I really like about the Fenty Beauty products is that they don't um, react poorly with my skin. So I assume, I'm not, I don't have very sensitive skin. My skin's pretty normal. But I assume that there's not a lot of harsh ingredients in there or else I'd probably get a little bit of kickback. Um, from what I know of my skin over the years. So the next product that I'll be using is from Shani Darnden and this is her Intensive Eye Renewal Cream and um, it says after cleansing and toning, apply morning and night and gently tap into under eye area, eyelids and along the orbital bone. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of, sorry if I'm looking into the viewfinder, it's kind of what I'm using as a mirror. Now for lips, I always like to have something on my lips to keep them moisturized. So I'm using this lip balm from Juvia's Place and it is in the shade Passion Fruit or Flavor Passion Fruit rather. And I usually just put this on, it's got a little bit of tint to it so it gives your lips a little bit of pink. So that is the skincare done with all black owned brand products. Now I'm gonna move on to my hair. So for my hair, I do have some leave out 
And I'll be using my Briogeo Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant. And I also use the Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioner from Briogeo. And I'm trying both of these products right now, so that's why I don't have the large one, but I wanted to give them a try. And so I'm just gonna be using a little bit of the blow dry spray or the heat protectant. And then for my edges, I usually use the Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray, and that's this one from the same brand, Briogeo. And I just spray a little bit on my edges, just like that. Keep them moist as well. The other black owned brand that I use for my hair is to do my edges and I actually use this certified Bella pomade and I actually ordered the brush and the pomade and I also got this certified Bella silk band. See that? Yeah, it's amazing. It really is amazing. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know how to do edges. <laughs> I don't know how to do edges. I just, I just do something so that it looks neat. And like, I just know that this stuff keeps them in place. I was wearing my real hair for a while, but uh, postpartum shedding has me all the way messed up so I had to revisit um, protective styling because the sides of my hair is pretty much they're pretty much gone <laughs> so I tie this band here and it'll keep my edges in place and then I move on to my makeup so the next thing I'll be doing is my makeup all right guys so this is the portion of the video where we get into the makeup now the devil works hard but i have to work harder because my battery actually died in my road bike which is what i've been using for the last few videos so i'm hoping that you're able to hear what i'm saying okay and i'm hoping that um this isn't gonna ruin everything <laughs> i've been planning this video for a while so it's just really annoying when you have setbacks like this so to prep the skin i will be using the fenty beauty uh pro filter instant retouch this is her original moisturizer, or sorry, not moisturizer. This is her original um, face primer. And I'm gonna use that to prime my skin. So after priming, I usually go in and do my eyebrows. And for that, I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Uh, it's called the Brow MVP. And the color that I'm using in the Brow MVP is black brown, or the shade. And I think it's a really good shade. So that's one brow done with the brow MVP and this usually takes me a few minutes so I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with me filling in my brows. So I'll finish up on this side and then I'll come back to do the concealing. So that's what my brows look like complete using the Fenty Beauty Brow um, MVP and the Pat McGrath concealer in the shade 26 and then now I'm on to color correcting for me color correcting is a pretty important step because I do have dark circle and for that I'm using the bright fix eye brightener from Fenty in the shade pumpkin Next thing I'm gonna move into is the foundation. I'm gonna be using the Blurring Skin Tint, the Ease Drop from Fenty. And I'll be using that in the shade 22 and the shade 20 mixed because I did originally have it in shade 21, but I didn't like the, um, 
I didn't like it after some wear, so I went ahead and switched it out for the shades 22 and 20, and those are the shades that I'm actually gonna be using today. I'm gonna use the shade uh, 20 on the inner portion of my face. And I'm actually gonna be using a sponge to blend this out. I'm gonna be using the Fenty sponge to blend it. And that's what that looks like. Uh, my skin's looking really glowy. I think that has to do more so with the primer. And I am wearing sunscreen under this as well. So then I'm gonna be taking shade 22 to do the perimeters of my face because that's why I initially didn't like the shade 20 is because I am darker on the outside of my face. So after blending everything together, I feel comfortable with this color. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is my eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place concealer as a base because it's quite a bit lighter. And just blend that out with my fingers. So odds are I'm going to be choosing from two palettes. So the Juvia's Place Chocolates palette is this one and I'll be pulling colors from this. And then I'll also be using the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration and that's this palette here. So for the first color it's going to be this one and that is being used as a transitional color and like I said all the brushes I'm using today are from Juvia's Place. The next eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is this one from Juvia's Place and it's kind of like a sepia toned or a burnt orange. Actually I'd say more of a terracotta and I'm just going to take that into the crease a little bit more. The other one I use kind of all over the place and this one's a little bit more concentrated on the outer corner. And that's just to add a little bit of depth to the eye. I'm just gonna take it over and do the other side as well. Honestly, I remember when I had eyelids that didn't droop. What a time to be alive. The next color that I'll be using is this color right here and it's a really deep, dark shade. And I'm gonna focus that once again on the outer portion of my eye. Then I'm gonna take the color um, Lituation from the Jackie Ina palette. That's this color right here. just a shimmer shade. I'm then going to be taking the eyeliner from Pat McGrath in Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil is what it's called and it's in the shade Extreme Black. I'm going to be using that on the outer corner of my eyes just to create kind of a lift at the end there. Then I'm going to use that really small brush again from Juvia's Place with a dark color and use that to diffuse that liner and just Kind of blend it out a little and then I'm going to take this actually underneath a little bit and line my inner upper lid. The next thing I'm going to add is mascara and the mascara that I'm going with is this Pat McGrath mascara. Um, the name of this mascara is the Dark Star Mascara and this is in the shade Extreme Black as well. And I'm just going to build that up on my lashes just a little bit because I will be wearing some false lashes. The lashes that I'm using today are from Huda Beauty and they were in collaboration with Kalana Barfield. And I don't know a lot about Kalana. I just know that she's a social media personnel and I think she's actually some sort of uh, style editor or something like that. I don't know, I feel bad, but I follow her and she's beautiful 
and um, I got these lashes when she did the collaboration with Huda quite a while ago so I'm just gonna be pulling those out and using that today hey guys so I just took a little break to go feed my baby <laughs> and uh, during that time this is how oily I got so um, you know what I'm actually going to revisit what I had said about a natural look because these lashes are doing the most as well. I'm actually going to pull out my Pro Filter foundation and just call it a day. I just want a little bit more coverage and a little bit more mattifying because whatever this is doing right now, it's not it. Sorry guys, so I forgot to turn my ring light on. So what I'm doing is I've added a little bit of the um, Pro Filter foundation. So this is the coverage I'm getting when I add a light layer of the Pro Filter foundation on top. And I'm just gonna jump in now and put my Pat McGrath concealer in the shade MD26 underneath my eyes. All right, so I let that sit for a little bit and now I'm just gonna blend it out. For contour, I'm going to be using a cream contour. This one is from Danessa Myricks, and I love this. I've been using it for a little while now, and I just think it's just, it's just amazing. Like, it's just so good. The color is so good. It blends out so good. It's just great. And whatever is left over, I just take it across my forehead. I don't like to put a lot of product on my forehead area. So to set my contour, I'm going to be using this LYS uh, bronzer and it's quite a warm toned bronzer and um, I'm just going to be patting that because I just added that Danessa Myrex uh, contour cream and I don't want to mess it up so I'm just going to pat it along on my cheeks just to add a little bit more warmth. And then I'm gonna take this across my forehead as well. And then I'm gonna take two powders. So first of all, I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath powder and it, this is in the shade Deep. And this is the Skin Fetish powder. And I'm patting that powder underneath my eyes. And then a little bit also on the forehead to get rid of any shine and just make sure that my whole face is set with this powder and I'm gonna be using this powder from Fenty in the shade cashew and I'm using that to help to brighten up my under eyes a little bit it's more of a peachy kind of color the next color that I'm gonna be using is the shade Neo and this is the blush color that I'll be using it's from Juvia's Place And these blushes are so, so pigmented, like, so pigmented. <laughs> like you could take the smallest little bit and you still took too much. For contouring my nose a little bit more, I'm gonna be using this LYS um, bronzer in the shade Strength as well, which is the same one that I used to do my cheeks. And I'm just gonna run this down the sides of my nose. So to finish up this makeup look, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty uh, Baby What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. While I'm waiting for the finishing spray to set down, I'm gonna be using this Cola Lip Liner. It's from Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna be lining my lip. And for lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath uh, 1995 lipstick. For the highlighter, I'm going to be going back into this Juvia's Place palette and using this color. 
I don't typically use powder highlighters and I haven't for years, but this is what I have. So actually, all right guys. So we're almost on the finishing stretch here. So the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this liner again from Pat McGrath and just do my waterline. And I'm gonna be using this liner brush and the chocolates palette heading back into that color just this deep dark color and blending out just the lower third outer third and just kind of pulling that up again just to gloss this lip up a little bit more i'm going to be using my fenty gloss bomb all right, you guys, so that is a full face of black owned makeup brands, collabs and businesses used to create this look. And then also in the morning portion of this video, I used all black owned businesses as well as the hair care. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is something that I've wanted to shoot for very long. I don't know if it's gonna be given what it's supposed to give just because I'm not really good yet with the lighting situation and I'm not really good yet with where I station the camera, but I hope that you guys were able to find a few things in this video of, um, like I said, black owned businesses, brands and collabs that you might be interested in. I'm hoping that this is inspiring some of you guys to really put the onus on us as consumers and go out and purchase from black owned businesses and purchase from black owned brands. And when these collaborations do come together, uh, featuring black artists and influencers and just creators, I'm hoping that it means that we're really getting, we're, we're at the forefront of that. We're running to get these products, just like we'd be running to get any other influencers products and i just feel like we need more than just trending and hashtags we need to be very much so present as well and we need to take the onus on ourselves a lot of the times and do the things that we're so brilliantly typing online or trying to get likes for post reposting and posting um, and that goes for all venues and social media as well and i could get into a whole other cup of tea about that kind of stuff but this it's just not my place it's not my forte i'm not going to come on here and complain about people because i you know <laughs> it's just it's whatever so anyway um thank you so much for your support thank you so much for um watching this video it means a lot to me and um take care bye guys